What's up guys? Welcome to G Whiskey. My name is Jeff. This is a channel where I offer my thoughts and opinions on a specific whiskey and once in a while I'll throw in other whiskey related content as well. Today we're going to be doing a side by side. I've got the Redbreast 12 cast strength and the Redbreast 15 here with me. I'm going to be comparing the two and seeing which one I think is the better buy. Stick around. Okay, so this is me listening to you guys because I know that for some of you my channel can be a lot of the same. It's review after review after review. I do sprinkle in a list here and there and you guys seem to love those. They're not kidding when they say YouTube loves lists. You guys eat those up. But today we're doing neither of those things. I'm going to be doing a side by side. It's actually the first side by side I've ever done on the channel. You guys have been asking for side by sides for some time now and I figured it's about time I delivered on that. And I figured we'd start with a red breast, which is honestly a little bit poetic because my first review ever and my first video ever on this channel was another red breast review as the 15 year old. And now my first side by side is going to be red breasts. And I think that's really just not that interesting. Yeah, I actually don't care about the poetry of it, but I did have a couple red breasts lying around. I like the whiskeys. I like talking about them. So I figured, what the hell? Uh, red breasts, one of your better known Irish brands. I've got the 15 and the 12 year old cast strength here. These two are roughly the same price and they're both well regarded. So I figured this would make for an interesting comparison. One of these, of course, has the age and possibly the more rounded sophistication that we usually get with age. The other one is cast strain, so we might have a little bit more of a bolder, complex intensity from that one. So we'll see. I'm going to taste these back to back and tell you which one I prefer. And I'll tell you right out the gate that I do like both of these whiskeys. I recommend both of them. They're both really good, but because they're from the same brand, because they're about the same price, I do want to do a comparison just to see which one I think delivers a little bit more for the money. So let's not waste time. Let's jump into it. And in the meantime, if you could kindly leave a like down below, that'd be greatly appreciated. So for my 12, I've got batch one from 2020. That one comes in at 57.6% ABV and it's non-chill filtered. As for the 15, it comes in at the standard 46%. It's also non-chill filtered. I do believe the 15 is colored and looking at the color of the 12, probably both are. Now I'm not 100% sure. So if you are, do let me know down below in the comments. So interesting presentation comparison here because the 15 is the old version of the bottle or the label while the 12 is the newer one. And looking at the two, I definitely much prefer the 12. I think it's a little bit more modern, a little bit more sleek, but it's also very much recognizable. I think they updated the look but kept the overall aesthetic. So I think well done. Uh, the new one, the 12, I'll give that one a four and a half out of five for presentation. The old one, still like it, four out of five. The nose on the 15 is softer, which is not unexpected. It's very Werther's Originals. We have tin, caramel, butterscotch, buttermilk, and a gentle fruitiness. It's very rounded. It's very mellow with some very appealing flavors. The 12, of course, is a bit more powerful, but some notable differences. This one is less on the creaminess and the butteriness. It's a fruitier nose with more pronounced tropical fruits, more pronounced spices. For our palate on the 15, the butteriness comes in first. More fruits than what we had on the nose. We have apple, we have cinnamon, we have butter, we have vanilla. It's a freshly baked apple turnover. For our palate on the 12, we've got more of that spicy element again. Loads of apples and cinnamon. It's less buttery and it's more of a clean character. Again, apples, uh, pears, juicy stone fruits, dates, baklava, baking spices. Our finish on the 15 gets a little bit spicier, but it's still rounded by that butterscotch creaminess. We have that Irish tinniness, more apples, butternut frosting, some dates, very rounded, medium finish. The 12 has a longer finish with a little bit more complexity. We definitely have some more pronounced spices in here. In fact, it's pretty spice driven. We have apples behind everything, but our spices are going to be like cinnamon and nutmeg and cardamom. We also have a nice nuttiness in here. All right, so this made for an interesting side by side. I like both of these whiskeys. I've reviewed both of them. I scored them very kindly and that still stands. I still enjoy both of them. I don't think there's a massive jump in quality from one to the other, but I definitely do have my preference. That being said, I think they're both excellent whiskeys in their respective categories. Now, I don't think my preference is going to be a huge shock to a lot of you out there. I like the 12 more. I think it's a more vibrant experience. It's a cleaner character and I like that more pronounced fruity, spicy profile. Oppositely, the 15 is going to appeal to a lot of people out there because it's a much creamier whiskey. It's smoother. It's more mellow. And I'm not just saying that in comparison to the 12, 
broadly speaking, as a whiskey, this is a very creamy whiskey. And not creamy in like a milky sense or like a full cream sense. It's more buttery. I'm talking like butternut frosting, buttermilk, Werther's Originals, that kind of thing. Which is fantastic. I like it. It definitely does make the whole experience a lot more rounded and easy. All the while, we still have like that teeniness and that fruitiness and all those apples. We still have everything that makes a good red breast whiskey. But yeah, I like the 12. It's more explosive. It's more fiery. It's more complex. The 15, it's solid, but that buttery creaminess, it does kind of smoothen over some of the rougher edges that I tend to enjoy in whiskey. It makes the whole experience feel a little bit more gentle and presentable. Uh, meanwhile, with the 12, it's not just that we have more kick to it, which of course we do. We also have a little bit more of a cleaner, clearer character. Again, I do think it's more complex. I think the spices and the fruits bounce off of each other beautifully. Also, none of our flavors are muted by that buttery creaminess that we have in the 15, so our flavors do feel a little bit cleaner and more, I don't know, easier to grasp, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, and it's not just a matter of profile. Obviously, our higher ABV does help things along. Another thing I've always liked about the 12 is that it's actually pretty mature for its age. So not only are we getting these big, bold, cast-strength flavors, we're also getting a fair amount of maturity here, or at least more than you might expect from a 12-year-old. So... Yeah, I do like both of these whiskeys. They're both really good, but for me, the 12 is the clear winner. I'm going to score it a 90. Meanwhile, I'm going to give the 15 a solid 87. I do like it, but I mean, nah, it just it can't compare to the 12. I love the 12. And I'll admit, I did have a bit of a bias coming in. Or maybe not bias, but I did have a preference coming in. I knew I liked the 12 better, and then doing the side-by-side -side just kind of confirmed all that. But yeah, from the get-go, I did have a favorite. All right, so there we have it. If you want a more buttery, creamier, more rounded, smoother character, go for the 15. If you want a spicier, fruitier, bolder, more complex character, go for the 12 cast strength. And you know, while I do definitely have my own preference, you can't go wrong with either. They're both great. I mean, I've already said that I prefer the 12, and given that the two are roughly the same price, of course I am going to recommend the 12 first. I think the 12 is usually a couple dollars, pounds more than the 15, but nothing too significant. So yeah, definitely get the 12 first. You can get the 15 too. It's a very enjoyable whiskey and I do think it's worth the money, but in terms of bang for buck, it's the 12. All right, that's it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to help support the channel, please consider becoming a patron. Otherwise, you can like, comment, and subscribe. That's always appreciated. And I do want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on our little comparison today? Do you like the 15 more? Do you like the 12 more? Let me know why. And finally, down in the comments, you can also let me know what you want to see me review next. I'll keep it in mind for my upcoming videos. Bye, guys.